Hello, uh, welcome to Bard Tale 3. Um, this is Jay Rodman. Uh, in this playthrough, I just finished defeating the starter dungeon boss, which really feels like a... It doesn't feel like a starter dungeon boss so much until you've defeated it and seen what happens, because you're, you struggle and struggle to uh, get to a point where you can... Uh, manage to win the fight you know you have to kind of grind to get you to around sorcerer 13 probably maybe you could do it earlier if you're clever um, and your normal characters are around level 14 and then boom they kick your spellcasters to archmages and your normal party members to level 35 which is like I don't know eight times more experience than you possibly could have reasonably earned if you tried to grind. So it kind of feels like they, it, w the effect of that is, and, and if you're, if you're perceptive, you realize that they set you to the same experience points, no matter what. So if you, if you were at level 20, they'd set you to level 35. And if you were at level 10, they would set you to 35, level 35. So this big push to get over the hump, ends up feeling kind of like wasted time um, or at least like it's not particularly relevant to the rest of the game experience. <clears throat> Feels like a design mistake, uh, but whatever. We're past it now. Um, they took... Uh, one of the consequences of moving on the game is I'd take one of my archmages and turn them into a chronomancer, meaning they're no longer a normal archmage, they don't have access to any of those spells. So I need another spellcaster, basically. Because one Archmage is really not going to be enough to kick out the damage. So we need to create a new party member. And for hit point reasons, I don't really want a gnome, another gnome. So I'm going to try to get a... Uh, elf with um, enough IQ to really kind of satisfy me. I kind of want a 17, but it's possible in this game that you can't get elves with 17 intelligence. And if that's true, the next best thing is the 16 intelligence elf with good constitution. That is not particularly good. It's not particularly bad. Um, I'm reminded of the point of evolution in Angband where they added the auto roller. I'm going to take this one. The auto roller let you pick the minimum values for various stats and then it just would roll up characters until you got one that satisfied it. Like, and the numbers would just spin and then finally it would kick in. And it was, they weren't fully randomized. So if you put like all 18s or everything, it would just roll forever and never give you any character. It was sort of an odd compromise. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure magicians are the ones that have Drap Zap. That's really what I need. <coughs> Names. This will be Lillian. Will Lillian have a title? Like... Lillian Maple Leaf, Lillian Dew Spray. Yeah, how about it? Okay, uh, so does I 
Does my paladin have items that other people want? That's a good question. The person would be likely to want it would be Grisnak, so... What do you have? Axe arrows don't seem very important. The war staff is nice, but not as good as a stone blade. Uh, adamant plate, maybe? Adamant helm, maybe? I decided to use an external keyboard. Um, the upside is I'm not typing onto the microphone. Downside is the new external keyboard is louder. Okay, so Grisnak has admin plate already, though not an admin helm. So we'll swap. Because who knows? There might be some reason I find myself wanting to bring this paladin back online at some point. Where's the, where's the helm? There it is. I'm blind. Uh, I'm gonna cheat with pregame knowledge and keep that um, canteen in my inventory. Okay, so my new lineup should be Riznok, followed by Hop Blossom, then Chantrell, and Elena will now be in the front lines. <coughs> Ooh, Lillian Dewspray with your 24 spell points and your nine armor class. Uh, I'm suddenly suspicious I picked the wrong class. I guess it doesn't really matter. Trap sap is not required, but GRZP is a conjurer spell. Um, Eh, all I really need is a spellcaster, and I need her to get to 13, and then I will take her down and kill Brilhasti Aptarge, and hopefully she will get the benefit of that. Um, is there any other way to do it? I don't know how the quest flags work. I think that if we complete the quest in Arborea, she'll be set to that quest flag. But if we don't, she might still be at the game beginning and maybe can do the other quest. The Kill Bro Hasty quest. Anyway. Worst possible case, uh, there's a post on uh, Bard Online about how to hack the game so that your characters that never got the Bill Hasty reward can get the Bill Hasty reward. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to cast Batch Spell. Whoop! Look at that. So nice. And... Oh, Bard is, Bard is not in slot 4 anymore. Is that something I want to keep? No, I do not want to quit. What did I press? I was trying to turn off warp mode. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the armor. 
Okay, so let's look at the map of the wilderness. I'm four south and one west, so here-ish. I'm gonna go over to the place of trees, the grove. Basically, I need to go south and then west. Okay, this is where my chronomancer, Eleanor, costs Argo for Arborea. And this. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the copy protection. <laughs> I find it entertaining that you can play this far, sink in this much time, and then hit the copy protection. Uh, last time I did this... Um, it was a matter of looking things up in a terrible text file that was wrong half the time. But Bart Still Online has put together a online version of the code wheel so let's give it a try at the like i figure it's going to be at least as inconvenient as the text i mean at worst as inconvenient as the text file okay so we have galidia black scar stagger in in the original game this was like a four-layer code wheel where you had to spin it around and reveal a number. It was a pretty effective copy protection measure at the time because Xeroxing it wasn't really possible. I mean, you could take it apart and Xerox it and cut it, cut the bits out with little windows and try to put it back together, but that was unlikely to work well. Uh, you know, all tabbing doesn't play well with screen capture. 070. Nope. This is uh, probably as unreliable as the data that went into it. Which is to say, I think any question that has four components will give me a wrong answer. But it's okay, you know, you get to keep trying. Arborea, Old Dwarf Mine, and the form doesn't work correctly, like it's failing because the thing is too small. Is it? Is that why it's failing? Or do I need to like... Reload it. Some values didn't actually need a. F some some combinations did not need a fourth value. So this code wheel thing could be correct. See, for Night Spear, we don't know the answer yet. Nor for Shadow Door. But if it's... Uh... But for Wizard's Guild, what am I doing? Crown of Truth. It just takes this away. And I think these work, the ones that require three parts. Yep. Just as buggy as it always was, but more conveniently buggy. Okay, let me pause while I figure out why the computer is stuttering. So the 
computer was struggling like crazy because it was trying to build FFmpeg in the background while also encoding my last run. Anyway, so we just arrived in Arborea and we get Warrior. Standing before you is a hardy warrior wearing battle scarred armor and a big grin. You notice the gray shot through his black hair as he warmly welcomes you. Well, as I live in breath, I thought I'd never see you again since the last time we parted ways. How about us getting together again? So this is a little weird because I don't know who it is and he's talking about getting together again. I'm gonna say yes to sound friendly, except it's not gonna work because my party's full. It seems that you already have a full house. I get a little uncomfortable with too many people bogging the party down. Tell you what, I'll wait here until you can trim your party to a more manageable size. I've got some sleeping to catch up on. So, we could bring that person into our party. They... Don't do anything special other than act as an NPC that fights for us. There's one thing that kind of matters where he says something about how he never understood how we knew the answer to that riddle about Iceberg. Um, anyway, so we're we've landed in Arborea. And we need to make a new map section for Arborea. Uh, it talks about an entrance to a city and us being four north and east of it. So I'm going to start off with placing an entrance to, entrance to something here. And I'm going to place... Let's zoom in a bit. I'm going to place us. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Four north and four east of the entrance. Okay. And I don't. This is. This is the portal location. Uh, you can tell because there's this phrase. Oh, maybe this isn't the portal location. Well, it's where Hawk, Hawk's, it's where Hawk whatever is. What happens if I cast Enic here? Okay, first I'm going to save the state. And then I'm going to cast Enic. Yeah, this is the portal location. It's just that he's on top of it. So you can't really, you can't really tell. Okay, restore state. Because I don't want to do the cheat. I don't want to do the copy protection again. No spell. Uh, I guess I could put the NPC marker here. Because there is one. I think he's called like Hawk Slayer, something like that. Okay, so looking around, there are trees to be found. It's sort of a dumb rhyme. That was unintentional. Okay, whatever, I can't find. Oh, I don't even know. Hey, hey, hey. 
Boop. How do we get to the stupid? There it is. Okay, where's the damn tree? Here you are, tree. Boom, boom, boom. And to the west, there are trees like here-ish. And come on, focus on, focus over here. There we go. And to the north, there are trees like this. And to the east, there's a building. And I got myself into a fight because I got confused about IJKL versus arrow keys. Something like that. Okay, here's a first fight in Arborea. And it doesn't look friendly. 25 shade dogs. I'm going to choose running away. I'm going to try to choose to run away. I think, I think running away is going to be pretty easy because um, I got the speed boots. So one question is if I go north, am I still four north? No, I'm now seven south. Yeah, four north versus seven south. So I'm going to pause the game. And I'm going to start making uh, some axes markers that are not going to probably be very permanent. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. So this is the entire world north to south, which means it's seven plus four plus one. Twelve? Is that right? Yes. I suspect I'm going to find it's a 12 by 12 world, but I'm not going to jump to that conclusion yet. Um... So I happen to be here, which is actually here, which means I should put down more trees. Here and here. And so dupe some trees on that side. I don't know how much I should duplicate. I'm going to go east to find the edge of the world this way. Five east. Six west. Okay. So the edge of the world is actually this corner. Because this is five east. Four, three, two, one, zero. This is zero east. One, two, three, four, five. Five west and six west. So, uh, Six and five and, and one more for the zero population is another 12. So we definitely do have a 12 by 12 grid. Oh, and handbrake finished. So CPU should be 
very available now. Okay, and of course the grid is nothing positioned like I want it to be, but that's fixable. There we go, and I can now move these grid numbers. No, not, I, I, no, I don't want the label. I want, no, I don't want the label. I want the edit. There we go. Uh, I'd also like to move this label, if I could do that, so it doesn't overlap with this number. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so this is the extent of our tiny world. Alt H here, and we have some kind of hut. And I have the first time I really want to use the terrain. It kind of is jarring, but I actually don't I really hate this <laughs> color. How about some dark blue? Uh, can, can I, can I just make a filled? Yeah, like that. Okay. An old hut sits by the shore of a beautiful lake. Fishing equipment is stacked neatly against the hut's wall. I, for some reason, find this so much more evocative than the whole thing about it feels like you're in the side of a tomb. Okay, so inside here, we have an old fisherman is here. He says, for a few pieces of gold, I'll let thee in on a few secrets. Um, a few pieces of gold. If he's serious, that costs me... Sounds basically free. Uh, so I say yes. Who shall give him some gold? Uh, Griselda, who has all the gold. Uh, 1,000. Here is a spell called Gills Gills that will let the breath underwater. Just say gill and not, and the, that should be thou. We can explore the life spring in the crystal palace. And don't forget to take something to carry the water of life in. That stuff has many healing and life-giving properties. Who wants to learn gill skills? Okay, I'm gonna have Elendor learn gill skills mostly because she has a ton of spell points and no useful spells. But can I do this again? 
Okay, uh, Griselda will learn it. And so will Lillian. Everyone can cast it now, except for the other four party members who are too lame to cast spells. What happens if I give him like 10 gold? Uh, he eats a pan can of spinach and promptly throws you out of his home. Uh, I don't know if these are mean or not. I'm going to give them a try because at some point I have to learn what things do. I'm going to start out with Mind Blade because why not? Okay, okay, you killed my level one party member. Maybe I'll have to level her up a little bit in a safer place. Uh, uh, you got nothing to do. Gills, gills, uh, harmonic gems, you're useless. Soul whip on that sorceress. Okay. How about this? Fight, attack. B, attack B. Melee man on B. I'm going to pull you into melee range and stone blade the hell out of you. Wait, why did Melee Men not work? Did I... what? Okay, it worked. Beyond death. Two thousand damage. That is an improvement. Uh, I'm, my monk is doing a little more damage now. Okay, could you not kill my level one person every round? I just, I just want her to be alive at the end of the fight. Could you please let her be alive at the end of the fight? <sighs> stop, please. Please stop.
just advance or or don't cast a spell or something. Oh, fine. I will advance. And you can... I don't know. Okay, just die, and then I'll resurrect her. There we go. So what happens if we give him like a hundred gold? Oh, we get a hint. Thy should go into the forest and get some arafolia leaves. They will let the breath underwater for a little while. Okay, that's not that's obviously not as good as a spell that handles the whole problem for us. Um Warriors are fine because they probably won't attack into the back line and kill my level one character. Uh, Demon Strike. That sounds like a, you know, fair response to some Dark Warriors. Maybe this is why I don't use Demon Strike much. Night Lance. Probably overkill, but I've never used it before. There we go. Night Lance seems way more effective than Demon Strike. Oh, so an armed knife is a ranged weapon. I think it's like a barge tail two item. I think it goes to 70 feet and returns to the thrower. Yeah. Yeah. I just picked the wrong person. What happens if I give him like one gold? That's the leaves. And what if I give him like 30,000 gold? That's the spell. I'm gonna reload because no. Okay, so you can get a hint about leaves from the forest, I don't know where, or you can just get him to give you a spell. And I think all of us have that spell now. Yep, role plating, quick fix, scry sight, and gills gills. I do not want a blue tree. Well, I mean, that color blue is okay. I just didn't want a super blue tree. Oh, uh, these are not actually walls. They're more 
stores. Okay. The finger of the lake, finger, shimmers in the natural glow all its own. All it is own? All its sick own. Someone needed to proofread this game, <laughs> especially the breath thing. Oh my god. Okay. This is not what I meant at all. Why did you revert? Strange. Okay. Uh. Okay, this, this control Arrangement is too awkward. So technically, um, this this node is here, here, and here, and the fishing hut thing is around. I don't think we need to remember, record that. Shade dogs, slatus, shade ghouls. I think that I can fight this. Oh, it's nice to note that Hot Blossom has already hit armor class negative 50. Still can't get over that 2,000 damage. So I wonder where we are. Uh, we're in Arborea, but apparently we had to cross time and space. So I guess this is like some other world at some other point in time. And what's Valerian? I mean, some guy, I guess, but is it like a legendary hero? Or uh, 
I don't know, some other status person? Great wizard? One of the makers of the universe? I wonder how a firehorn will do against these things. Will they completely ignore it? If it works at all, it seems useful with like 20 of them. I think I just saw that my bard is now doing nine points of improvement per song. Okay, 14,000 experience. I think it's time to go cash some of that in.
entry. Okay. songs. Okay, so I just screwed up the quest flag for Lillian. He gave us the Arborea quest again, which meant he just set her to the Arbor Arborea quest. So... That's a bummer. So I guess if you're going to play this game straight, it's important to um, well there's different options, but the obvious one is make your party have as many mages as you want before you finish the starter dungeon. Another one is just accept that one of your mages will be way behind for the entire game. Another one is make your mage go kill Brilhasti and go visit the old man before you ever visit the old man with that character in the first place. Or if you visit the character, a character the old man with that character do it without any of the normal members of your party. All those things seem ridiculous, though. Okay. I'm gonna stop for now. And I will say, this part amuses me to no end. If we say to leave, it tells you may now wish to turn off the computer or insert the disk you wish to boot. This text clearly has not changed from the Apple II because, you know, that's just not how the Commodore works. Anyway. <laughs> 